Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a cool trick in Adobe Illustrator that I learned from TikTok, of all places. Let's get into it. To show you this trick, I'm going to make a keychain project. So the first thing you wanna do in Illustrator is click on the text button. And what I'm gonna do here is just type in some test text, make a little bit bigger just so I can see it. And there's a couple of things that I want to do while I'm doing this. The first is I want to go up to window and go to appearance. This will bring up the appearance menu. In the bottom left hand corner, if you say add new stroke, click on that and it will add a stroke to your design. I'm going to change the color to red so that I can see it a little bit better. Then what I wanna do is go under this add new effect, click on that. I'm going to go down to path and offset path. Here, because this is a keychain, I'm going to make it 0.2 for the offset. I like to use the rounded joins. You can tell the miter versus bevel versus round, kind of which style you like. Then I'm going to click OK. After that, I'm going to go back to that add new effect and go down to Pathfinder and click add. This will join everything together. Now you see if your offset is not enough, it might have some internal artifacts. You can go back into offset path and change that. You can also go under this and if you make it lowercase, it might get rid of it as well. So the cool part about this, as you can tell, is I can go in here and change this to anything I want. So I can type in the names, I can type in random text like that. And no matter what, it keeps the offset with the text. In the past, when I was doing this, I would type in the text, offset the path, then I would have to expand it and make sure it's sent to the laser that way. And I would never be able to edit the text directly with the offset staying with it. I'd always have to go back in, do the outline and the offset path, and then rejoin everything together. And it became a giant pain. When I saw this on TikTok, for just an Adobe Illustrator effect. I have never seen it done with the laser side, so I wanted to share that with all of you. The one thing that I found here that I also think is cool, if I go into the type, go down to insert special character, symbols, and then bullet, I will get a bullet symbol. And then if I type in my text, say it's test for now, if I go back and highlight that bullet, I can change that individual one. So if I go over to my properties, I'm going to actually change the fill to nothing and give it a stroke. The easiest way to do that is down here in the bottom left hand corner where it says swap fill and stroke. I'm gonna click that. Then I'm just gonna change the color to red. Now, if you look at it, I automatically made the whole for the key ring while keeping the text editable. So if I just highlight the text piece and say I change the name here, it will allow me to keep the hole for the keychain, but I can keep editing the name. So if I don't wanna use that name, I wanna change it, see how it keeps the offset with it. And then the best part about this is if I send this over to my laser software, it will recognize the text versus the outline. And then I can just change the outline to a vector cut operation and be able to run it directly like that. Then if I need to change the name, I just go in here, say I change it to this, and then I can send it again if I have a different one. Now you see, I do have an outline that has a little artifact here. If I go back into that appearance, and click on the offset path I already created, I can bump this up to say 0.22 and it gets rid of that extra little artifact so I don't have an extra cut I don't want. But this is a cool hack for editing text while keeping an outline. 
and making it super quick to change things on the design side. So I'm just going to make a few keychains for some friends of ours. So the first one is Sarah. I'm just going to print this over to my software. And here I'm going to make the black a white color engraving. And then I'm going to change the red to a vector cut. I am going to be using quarter inch acrylic, so it's a little bit thicker. And then I would just hit print and send it over to the laser and it's ready to go. And it's just that simple. So I'm going to go ahead and make the keychains and then show you how they turn out. And there we have the keychain. So I do have, I do have all, I do have all three made. It is a quick project to make. If I wasn't filming, it would take maybe 10 minutes total to do all three of them. Very quick to do. This technique has saved me a lot of time already. But hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. Be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share things along the way. But I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.